You want to see what's in those boxes? Bones. Hey everybody, Hunter here from US Skull Hunter. So many of you may know that I did move into a new workspace recently and have been kind of making some adjustments, uh, getting fitted to that space. And I did actually shoot uh, a, a video this past week, the first video in the workspace, uh, my carving shed, and completely scrapped it after I was done just because the audio and the lighting were so bad. So I apologize for the time it's taken me to adjust to this. I'm having to learn some new things about lighting and audio and stuff like that. But until then, I figured, hey, why not give you guys kind of like a little tour of my new carving shed and uh, let you see what's going on. So let's go and uh, I'll show you my new space. So it is on a previous dairy farm and the actual workspace is a an old milking parlor or I shouldn't say this space is where they kept the milk tank, store the milk. It's right on a busy road back here which uh, can get pretty noisy, but I'm kind of hoping uh, I'll maybe be able to capitalize that on a little bit, you know, gain a little bit of exposure, maybe put up a sign or something like that. But yeah, it definitely takes me back to my uh, dairy farm days. I used to work on a dairy farm for uh, maybe four or five years, something like that. So. <laughs> Hunter, it's feeding the heifers. It's long, hard work. Glad I'm over that. But all right, come on in. I'll show you my space. All right, so first I'll just do a little panoramic. Um, it is an 18 by 18 cinder block room. And then I'll kind of show you uh, everything uh, piece by piece. Don't worry, I won't get too, too involved here. So. That's that, but uh, we'll start over here at the carving, the main part, carving bench. Hey everybody, welcome to my carving shed as I introduce most of my videos. So yeah, uh, I, I bought a cart of a bench. It was literally cheaper to buy it pre-made like this. I can literally fold it up and take it to me the next time I move, which will be inevitable. inevitable. But yeah, I got my Dremel hanging up here to my right. I've got a fancy light over here as well. That's Mostly to do with kind of the filming aspect of it. Burrs to my right. Got some other random tools here that I kind of use a lot. And then on the bottom here, um, I kind of organized all the different tools that I use on a regular basis for carving skulls. And then in the back, I created this cool little backdrop that will be in my videos and just, you know, got some skulls on it, of course, right? And some of my carvings and some work of some other uh, pretty cool artists as well. So that'll be in most of my videos for the background. I thought it'd be kind of fun. And then right behind you here, I have some storage, just typical stuff there. And then this area is kind of like where I keep my products. Uh, some of them that I have, some of them are not finished. Some are finished. Some of these are stuff that I'll be listing uh, for sale soon. Um, I'm actually doing a few shows this year, so I might use some of those things for the shows. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, I'll keep you updated on that. And then right here I have my packing and shipping station. So boxes, tape, you know, bubbles, stuff like that. Um, so I can pack stuff up, so pretty cool. And then a trash can. I know, first time in four years that I've had a trash can, which is exciting. Funny, right? And then another bench here with storage. You wanna see what's in those boxes? Oh, you know, typical stuff like antlers and bones and more random bones. And then last bench over here is kind of like uh, tools, scroll saw. I uh, use that a lot for like bone, small bone pendants, that type of thing. Um, a Dremel vise, don't use that much. Then you have your table uh, belt sander, which workhorse, I use that a lot again on like small bone work. Okay, and last but definitely not least, I just wanted to cover kind of quickly a little bit about my bone dust 
collection uh, system that I have here in my new shed. So I finally got a shop vacuum of my own. Uh, you definitely do not need something this large. I just accidentally ordered that one. But I also have a large particle collector. And what that does is when you suck in larger particles, it will go down into the bucket, get trapped before it goes into your vacuum. That way you don't have to change your filters as often. So I'll use the vacuum to collect the dust as I am producing it while I'm carving it with the vacuum. Um, I will also have a fan right here to my right, which blows away any remaining dust away from the area that I'm working in. I don't have it here right now, but that will generally be going on. Then thirdly, I have a fan in the window, which is going to collect and remove the dust from my workbench that the fan that's normally here is gonna push over and take any remaining dust out the window. Now, just as other precautionary, precautionary measures, I can always open windows. Um, I do open that door a lot. And then lastly, just to kind of keep the air nice and clean in my workspace, I have now purchased a air filtration system. And what this does really is just circulate the air around the room and remove any suspended particles that might be in the air still. And it has two sets of filters, so it filters out the air uh, really well. Pulls it in one side, spits it out the other, just keeps the air clean. All of this, you know, have like four or five different points of dust collection, and it's probably overkill. I think that's perfectly fine in the situation because, you know, you're talking about your health, you don't want to get bone dust in your lungs. It's better to stray on the precautionary side of things than not to. Okay guys, so just wanted to say thanks again for walking around with me and being a part of this whole endeavor of mine uh, to make skull carving a full-time career and teaching you guys along the way. Part of that is I put together a uh, little guide completely free and it just walks you through kind of what you need to get started if that's something that you're interested in as far as tools you need, preparing the skulls for carving, uh, different types of birds that I recommend, kind of like a starter pack for birds um, that you can take a look at those. So. The, uh, for this, you can download it free in the description of this video, or you can look in the comments. It will be there as well. And thanks again, guys. I appreciate you hanging out and um, have a huge list of things uh, I'll be doing videos on once I get all this stuff figured out. So uh, I'll get back in the groove again. So uh, thanks again. Appreciate your um, patience with me, and I'll see you in the next video.